this section we're going to look at fractions and division and how they are related. Uh, you may recall before that I have said that fractions and division actually mean the same thing. And to illustrate that point, I'm going to show you uh, two diagrams, two circles here. And if you count the number of circles in the first one, we have one, two, three, four. That four would represent our denominator, okay? So we can put our four as our denominator. And let's say we ate three out of four. You simply would just color in your three areas here, and that would be three-fourths. Okay, we understand that, but did you know that three-fourths is the same as saying three divided by four? Okay, so in other words, if you have three waffles, and you want to divide them among four people, you would, each person would get three-fourths of a piece of waffle. Okay, if you think about that in a, in a way um, that makes sense, maybe you think, okay, you're taking away a, th a fourth every time because you're cutting off a fourth of each waffle, and you do that four t or three times, and you get three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths, and that will give you the total of three. So again, three divided by four is the same as three-fourths. So let's look at another example. This time, I'm going to color in two, three, four, five. Now I have five. Now again, that represents our numerator. The bottom number is the total, and we see we have three empty, so that means five plus three is eight. So this is actually the same as saying five divided by eight. So again, fractions can be written as division problems, and division can be written as fraction problems. So if you say five divided by eight, you can do that really quick in your head. Five-eighths.